Hello, my most amazing artist, or it's the last time I get to say it because it's Friday and it's our last day of Pirate Week. Ahoy, my most amazing artist. Oh, I'm so excited about today's project because we're actually going to be making Allie, our very own puppet version of Alligator. <gasps> I'm so stoked, so much so that why don't we go ahead and let Allie tell us the supplies we're going to need. All right, Allie, take it away. Ahoy, boys and girls. Today, we're making a puppet of me. So you'll need some construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, it's okay. Any kind of paper will be just fine. Probably two or three sheets would be great. You'll also be needing markers, crayons, your usual art supplies, scissors, and glue. Really? That's it? That's it. And if you don't have glue, you could use tape. If you don't have tape, you could use a glue stick. Use what you got. That's what artists do all day long. I can't believe we're gonna be making a version of you. How exciting is this? All right, guys. Let's talk about what else we need so we can get started. Before we get started, a big old shout out to Dixon Ticonderoga for providing me with the art supplies that we'll be using. We'll be using construction paper today and they make my favorite construction paper. It's called True Ray. So if you have construction paper, there's a good chance that's what you're using it. That's why it's so good. But remember, if you don't have construction paper, it's totally fine. Loose leaf paper's fine too. Sketchbook paper's really great. I'll show you what you can use to make your puppet. You'll be amazed at how easy and awesome this is. All right, let's get our pinkies out. I pinky promise that no matter what, I will do my best, I will keep a positive attitude, and I will finish what I start. Mwah! All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, today we're going to be making an alligator puppet. But the cool thing about what I'm about to show you is that you don't actually have to make just an alligator puppet. You can turn this puppet into any creature that you want to. If I show you the inside of my puppet, you'll see an orange piece of construction paper. That piece of paper is what we're going to begin by folding first. That folded piece of paper is going to give us two pockets for our hands to go into, for our fingers to go in the top pocket, for our thumb to go in the bottom pocket. When you open and close your fingers, you can see it creates a mouth. So imagine any kind of creature could have a mouth like this, not just an alligator. So let's start with the inside, the mouth part of the puppet. It doesn't matter what color that piece of construction paper is. Since it's a mouth, you could use red. I'm just going to use what I happen to have. I happen to have a piece of yellow construction paper. So my first thing I'm going to do is turn my yellow piece of construction paper so that it's going horizontally. Now that I've got that, I'm going to fold this paper into thirds. It's a little tricky. I'm not folding it in half. I'm folding it almost, but not quite to the top. A good way to kind of measure it without using a ruler is maybe take about four of your fingers, or if your hand is smaller than mine, use your whole hand, put it at the top of your paper, use it as your measuring guide, and this is where your paper is going to stop. So I'm going to stop my paper here, my thumb is going to hold it still because I want to make sure that my paper is not folded crooked. So I'm going to match up one side and then I can let go, make sure the other side is matched up. Now, all I have to do is bring this paper down until this one stops it. So I'm actually going to put my hand right here to help this paper as I bring it down know where to stop. So I'll bring it down as far as I can. Looks like I can only go to there. Matching up my sides. I'm trying not to make it all crooked. Matching up my sides and then smooth it down. That right there, that what we just did, that's the hardest part of what we're about to do. So if you were able to do that, the rest of this is a piece of cake. 
Now, I'm gonna go ahead and really press this down nice and firmly. I'm going to use one hand to hold my paper in place. Take one side, walk it over to the other. Sometimes paper, when you have a bunch of papers, like I have three papers here, they don't like to fold very easily. You kind of have to help the paper out by bending it over your hand. There we go, match up those edges. Take your hand out and smooth down the bump. Go ahead and smooth it down. And now, if I were to hold the paper like this, you'll see I have a letter V. I have a letter V. What I want to do next is turn this V into a letter M. How could I do that? Well, I'll take one side of my V, bring it down to here. So I went from the top, I'm bringing it down to here and then smooth out the bump. Okay, let's see if I have a letter M yet. I have the beginning of an M, but then this line goes So I'm going to just do the same thing on this side. I'll flip it over. I'm bringing the top down to the bottom. Oh, it's pretty hard because that paper is kind of thick, but I can do this. All right, let's see what we've got. <gasps> Look at that! I have a letter M or a letter W. In fact, I'm going to keep it like a W and now check this out. If you rotate it, that means turn. If you rotate it, you'll see those two pockets that I said your fingers would go into and your thumb would go into. My fingers are going to go in this pocket. My thumb is gonna go in this pocket, and would you look at that? Would you look at that? I have the beginnings of a puppet mouth. Now, again, you could just decorate it like this. You could put some eyes on here, maybe put some teeth, have a big old long tongue hanging out. You could do so many different things with just this puppet armature, the inside of the puppet. But what we're going to do is we're going to be transforming ours into an alligator. All right, let's take a look at my alligator to see if we can figure out exactly what I did. All right, I'm gonna open it up. I feel like alligator dentist. And it looks like I took two pieces of paper, two green pieces of paper, cut them almost like a letter A. I glued one to the top and one to the bottom. So I'm going to start with that first. Now I happen to have green construction paper. What could you do if you don't have green construction paper? Well, one thing you could do is take some white construction paper or white paper and color it. You could color it tons of different ways. You could use markers, you could use color pencils, you could do a rubbing and give it a good texture. The choice is yours. In fact, I think I'm gonna add some texture to mine before I start. So you could do this with me if you have white paper. The first thing I'm gonna do is get some green crayons and do some rubbings which because I'm using green on top of green, it's pretty well camouflaged. So let's see if I could use a different kind of green. There we go, that shows up a little bit better. All right, so now I've got a little bit of texture for my alligator. Maybe I could even add some yellow. So if you have white paper, this is totally something that you could do. Now maybe I'll use a color pencil and draw some lines for some of the texture on my reptile. I'm just using a curved line. So I'm just thinking about how I can show an alligator's texture. Let's see if I even throw some markery lines in there. Oh, that shows up so much better. And once again, since I'm using a variety of art supplies, we call that mixed media. So I'm using mixed Media. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Once I'm finished, I'm going to be taking my piece of construction paper and folding it in half. Folding it in half. So I'm going to take it, I'm holding it horizontally, bringing one side over to the other side. One side over to the other side. 
And now I'm going to draw on my paper. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see. You might want to use um, a pencil. I'm going to be drawing a big line that goes all the way up to here, hops over, and then goes all the way back down to there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little polka dot. Here's the middle of the paper. Move my finger over a little bit and I think I'll put a polka dot right there. Here's the middle of my paper. Move my finger over a little bit and put a polka dot right there. Okay, now starting in this corner, I'm going up, boop. Starting in this corner, I'm going up, boop. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut this out. I'm keeping my paper folded because then I only have to do it once. I will have some extra paper, which I can totally use later, so I never throw away any of my paper. Now, let's see what we can do here. So now I have the top and the bottom of my alligator's mouth. Awesome. So if I wanted to, I could take this one and bend this up to make his nose. So I'm gonna use, I think I'll use black. And I'll draw a little circle here for the nostrils. And a little circle there for the nostrils. Okay. And now I think I'll start to assemble or put together these two pieces on my alligator. So I've got this part. I need to attach. And when I attach, I'm going to be attaching this line to the side with the pocket. What you don't want to do is accidentally glue it like this because then you'll be sticking your hand inside your alligator's mouth to operate your puppet. So I'm going to be putting my glue at the top. I'm only putting glue around the edges. Just putting glue around the edges. There's my pocket. Matching the pocket up with this straight line getting it kind of centered. I'll flip it over so you can see how I'm doing that. And this I'll probably have to hold a massage. Oh, paper likey. Go ahead and give that glue enough grab time. But then I want you to double check. Double check and make sure you didn't accidentally glue your pocket closed. Okay, looks like we're good. Now I'll do the same thing here drawing a rectangle of glue. Turning this over so it basically matches this one. Massaging, massaging, massaging. And then really make sure you hold it for a while. Then you've got to make sure you didn't accidentally glue your pocket closed. If you did, it's okay because the glue probably hasn't dried completely. You could probably still open it back up again. So let's see how I did. There's one pocket. Yep, there's another pocket. Let's see how it looks. Well, hello there, Miss Stevens. Oh my goodness, he looks amazing. All right, now if you don't like this little part sticking out right here, you could always just take your scissors and give it a trim, or maybe let's see how it looks bent backward. Oh, I love it. I'm leaving it just like that. Okay, so let's think. What else does he need? Well, of course, some eyes to see and some teeth, maybe even a tongue. I'm gonna grab my paper and we can start on that. So to make my eyes, I'm going to take a piece of white paper. I want two eyes that are the same, so I'm going to be um, draw, drawing this and cutting it out just once. I'll show you how. I'm gonna fold my piece of paper in half. It's the same way that we did his head, right? We folded a piece of paper in half. And while my paper is folded in half, you could use a pencil. I'll use a marker so you can see. I'm going to draw a nice, big, tall, arched line. A big, tall, arched line, like a tall rainbow. So I'm going to go up and then over really wide and then down. All right. Let's go ahead and cut that out. 
Then, if you made sculptures with me for your mad scientist thinking cap, you probably already know what we need to do to these eyes to get them to stand. If you guessed, give them feet. You are an art making genius. I'm gonna give this one a little foot right there. And this one, I want them to be about the same size. So you know what? I think I'll fold the feet at the same time. There we go. And now I'll draw some eyes. Maybe I will go ahead and just draw a big line right there, a horizontal line. Ooh. Maybe give it some eyelashes. You could add color if you want to. Right now I'm just going to draw it in and then I'll give him a little reptile-y style pupil. There we go. And then if you want to, you can add color, baby, color. I'm gonna use markers. You could do anything that you like. You are the artist if you have crayons. You could use those. If you happen to have color pencils, color pencils, I love, they work great. All right, now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue at the bottom of that foot, and then we can talk about teeth. So I'm gonna put a little eye, it's actually a really big eye. Oh, I love how big it is. It's really big and exaggerated. All right, I'll add another one right there on the other side. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and operate my puppet for a moment, see how those look. Hello, my nose is very long and floppy. I love that it kind of flops when he talks. I think it's really funny looking. Okay, so now, why don't we add some teeth and a tongue? I'm gonna start with a tongue. You can see I've already made one here. It's similar to how I did the eye, except when I go up, I go really high up. And when I go over, I go pretty far over. And then I'm coming back down. You could draw that little line that's in the middle of the tongue if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this. I'll let you decide, saving all of my scrap pieces. I'm gonna put them all in a special folder or a box in case I wanna make more puppets. Now I'm gonna open wide. You could have, I should have probably made his tongue a little longer, but I could always glue it out here. I think I'll glue it right about there. Drawing a little line of glue. And next up, last thing is the teeth. All right, so for the teeth, I know I wanna make a bunch at one time. So I have this paper that I folded in half. I'm going to fold it in half again. And when I make teeth, I make them, I'll draw first so you can see, I make them like a really tall letter A. Nice and sharp. Notice I didn't make my A little. I made it nice and big because little teeth are kind of tricky to glue in. I want these to be nice and big. Once again, just like the eye, I'll give each one of those a little bitty foot. Okay, so now I've got four teeth. To glue them in, I'm going to have to glue that right on the edge of the paper. That way when he closes his mouth, they go over, he doesn't accidentally eat his teeth. So I'm going to put a little glue right here and glue all my teeth in place. How did your alligator puppet turn out? Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a cool puppet, but everybody can see my hand. So here's something you could do if you wanna take this puppet a little bit further. If you want to hide your hand, here's a little trick you could do. You could take another piece of construction paper, one that's about the same width as your alligator, overlap that over this piece and glue that right there. You might wanna decorate this piece before you do. Then you have a nice sneaky place to hide your hand. You can even taper or cut this at an angle for the tail. What if you wanted to add the feet? 
Well, think about how you did that for the teeth. You could take your paper, you could cut, but first I think I would fold it into fourths once, twice, then I'm going to draw so you can see. I'll draw with a marker. I would go up, ziggy zag for alligator toes, down. What do you think I'm about to do? Exactly. Oh, I'm cutting through all four pieces of paper. I must have some really muscular hands. All right, I'm zigzagging this cut back and forth. Do you have an idea what I'm gonna do with these feet? I'm gonna keep all this cool paper. You are like a genius, exactly. I will be folding each one of these and adding it right there or there. So that way when I attach it to my puppet, he'll have his little feet hanging off. So guys, think about it. You can leave it like this. You could glue on that nice long alligator body. You could do something totally different for your puppet. I'm sure whatever you do, it will be amazing. Have fun guys, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. See you soon.